Hello everybody, Aistocky here and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Technicality 4 pack. Um, off camera I have done just a little bit. Um, hopefully that has enough in it now. Um, what I've decided to do is I've made two pieces of mana steel already. Um, and I'm going to hopefully now create a third one, although I'm not actually convinced there's going to be enough, no. And the reason for that is because I started doing something else and that is um, I started getting myself what I need for this meltdown, the endo flame. <clears throat> Basically you need brown petals, red petals, light grey petals, red mana petals, and brown mana petals. And for those of you who don't know, you get the petals like so, and you throw it in here, and you get a mana petal. Hopefully I will have enough to do... no, <clears throat> never mind. I thought I was going to have enough to do that. Really sorry about my exceptionally croaky thud at the moment. So what we'll do is we will now go uh, one red petal, one brown petal, one grey petal, one of those petals, and one of those petals. And we'll throw the seeds in. Bam! Achievement get endo flame. So by throwing that on the ground just there, I should now be able to make lots of mana. Lots of you have probably seen this numerous times before. Um, so I won't go into a huge amount of detail on it, but there we go. And that should be what I need in order to make more of these petals. While I'm doing that, I'm going to run over here and grab myself some more seeds. <clears throat> Some of these guys keep escaping. Um, doesn't bother me too much. I basically just kill them whenever they escape. Keeps the herd thinned. Um, I'll just grab. Yeah, let's grab half the seeds. Can't hurt too much. Um, I've been shearing a bunch of sheep because, um, thanks to Tabasco Punk for pointing it out, um, you can actually use these petals in with a mortar and pestle and create brown dye, and I can use that to dye wool brown and use that to put carpet down. Um, saves me having to you know, get like a thousand sheep. <clears throat> that doesn't last as long as I was hoping it would. But that's okay, but now I've got... Uh, come on. Give me one more little burst. Beautiful. And this is the kind of thing that I need uh, to be able to make stuff happen more quickly. And I'm all for making things happen as quickly as possible. Because that's what keeps these Let's Plays moving along. Doing everything I can as quickly as I can. Um, well, hopefully it's still explaining it a bit. Bam, bam, bam. It annoys me when they jump around like that. So we've got... That should be a couple more endo flames. Three, in fact, is the magic number. So let's go one, two, three, four. Beautiful, look at that. Now we're just making, making significant amounts of mana another three in there. This is now going to get us what we need to make a pickaxe. Now that gives me everything that I need uh, to go and mine, mine, to go and mine diamonds. Except for torches. How do I how do I manage to never get any torches? Um. Always doing this wrong. Just throw those in there. Because I'm carrying the Man of Steel pickaxe, I can now right click and it will just place them. Uh, it doesn't work with any other kind of pick, which I find to be a little annoying. Particularly because, like I said, I'm about to make it so um, <clears throat> I don't actually use this Man of Steel pick very often. But while, while that's doing its thing, uh, I'm going to create the first item out of witchery that I want to make just so I can get that going there we have ourselves a witch's oven um, 
for now, that's just going to sit there in the corner. And I'm going to... Uh, I, I definitely... I want to get this going while I'm off doing something else. I believe that's the recipe. There we go. Yep, so we got soft clay jars, eight of. We'll cook those up. Uh, throw some in there. Throw the soft clay jar in the bottom. And now we just need to cook some saplings. So I think on average, out of eight, I'll end up with about two fumes um, with this most basic setup here. So um, I've actually brought Mutanus up on the screen because that's one of the first things that I'm going to need. And it needs Exhale of the Horn 1, an egg, and a Mandrake root. So I don't have any eggs. I use them all to spawn more chickens. Um, but I'm, I'm mostly on track to do that. So I just need the Exhale of the Horn ones, and I should be good to go. Should be good to go. Um, like I said, I'm just going to let that do its thing while I go off in an attempt uh, to find some obsidian. Now, obviously, mining obsidian is boring and slow, so I'm not going to force you to you know, watch me do it. Um, just to show you as well, still on normal difficulty. Did take me a few seconds to recognize that last time. Whoop. That nearly ended painfully. So, where is that lava? Fine. Hey! Not okay. Just not okay. I'm about to break that. Oh, uh, creeper. Ah, darn skis. Okay. It's going to be a significant amount of time waiting around here, so let's... Oh yeah, let's have more creepers. Oh, really? Really? It's just got ridiculous. Zombie. just cut it out. Two zombies. And I've now broken my sword. Um, look, this is just this is just not going to play out well for me without a sword. Um, so I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go get myself a sword, I'm going to come back, I'm going to own those zombies, um, and then get working on some obsidian. So, I will see you guys in just a moment's time, back soon. Okay, here we are, iron sword in hand, dead zombies. And dead zombies. Beautiful. So now that we have achieved zombie death, it is time to begin the process of getting obsidian. So you can see here that because this pickaxe is awesome, it can mine obsidian. Um, it is slower than diamond though, so it does take even longer, and I can hear a zombie, so I want to get this. Give me, give me, give me, give me. And I'm not convinced I know where he came from. Just here, maybe. <clears throat> Let's try that and see if that works for me. So that is now one piece of obsidian. So what I want to do is I want to get myself another. Uh, let's call it another. Th we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, plus ten. So I'm going to get myself. I'm just going to get myself up to twenty obsidian. And so once I've done that, I will come back and uh, see you guys then. Uh, back soon. Okay, guys. As you can see, I now have uh, my twenty obsidian that I was aiming for. Um, I've killed a bunch more zombies as well, um, just because. They were asking for it, um, and I used up all my torches lighting it up, trying to stop me uh, from needing to kill them. 
that of course just never works the way I had planned. But I've got my 20 obsidian, so that's at least a start. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, so that is the right amount. So that's good. And it is the right amount because um, I have decided how I'm going to do things. To do what I want to do though, uh, I need to make another item first. So before I go to the nether or anything like that, cobblestone doesn't go in there. Goes in here. Some brains rotten flesh. The item that I'm going to make, I have. Hmm. I was going to say I had everything I need. Turns out I've used up all of my iron though, so. So I will now proceed to come over here. Wow, out of that eight, I only got one single. <clears throat> I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. I, you know, I just need one for the mutandus. Um, I have my mandrake root. Just need to go collect an egg, and then I'd be good to go. Come on, two more iron. One more iron, would you believe? Um, I've already made the cauldron, so that was a good idea. I wasn't actually going to make it, but probably would have spent all of my iron if I hadn't. So what we are making now is an alloy smelter. Throw that down. In fact, let's just take all of that out. So we can now find ourselves <clears throat> some of this coal powder, which is just uh, ground up coal dust. Grab three of those, we can grab three more pieces of iron and three pieces of obsidian. And that will make us one piece at a time, uh, very, very slowly. That will make us what we are looking for, which is dark steel. And that will let me make a dark steel pickaxe. Um, durability of diamond, can mine everything diamond can make. Um, and once I get my enchanting table going, which piece of leather, three of those. <clears throat> so we need four obsidian and two diamonds. It's definitely not the world's cheapest recipe, this enchanting table, um, but I kind of like it. I'm going to put a, man, a <clears throat> mana pile on there and a mana pile on there. And as I said, this base just gets so crammed so quickly. Um, I, I do intend to fix all of the stuff that's here and stop this being an issue. Well, it still hasn't even finished the first one yet. So slow. Can't help but feel like the recipe <clears throat> must have changed to use more. 20,000 RF. Oh wow, yeah, most of the recipes use, yeah, 5,000. That's why it's going so slow. I had forgotten just how slow this was. Um, hello? Oh, there he is. Okay. So this is sure as heck going to take a while. Um, I need... two mana steel and two mana diamonds in order to be able to make those enchanting pillars. Um, I also really need 30 levels. So... That's going to take... Let's be honest, that's going to take some time to get to. It's going to take a, a, just a little bit. But it is a goal. Um, and I do intend to do a good job of making most of these things. But for now, let's go brown petals. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to need. And I don't actually remember the recipe that I need in order to make that mortar and pestle. I feel like it's that with a stick. <clears throat> okay, so maybe it's a bowl and a stick. Stick, stick, stick. 
Okay. Mortar and pestle. I stick a plank in a bowl. Bowl. Plank. Stick. See, I knew there was a way to do it. And I knew that I just wouldn't know what it was. Um, so let's have a look how much wool I've got. 28. Let's... Let's do that. Why are you not dying? So I can do clay, glass. <coughs> Why can it do everything except wool? I can dye blocks of iron. I can make floral fertilizer. I can make brown mushrooms. See, I thought there was a recipe for wool where you put um, use. So I thought there was a recipe for wool where you put a color in a pattern of eight. That's my shape crafting. Shape crafting, 97, okay. Um... Let's try cocoa beans, because these are the other kind of brown dye. Use, shape crafting, <clears throat> so that works the same. Why no wool though? So you can do everything else in big chunk groups. Uh, paintbrush. How do I make the paintbrush? Darn it. Okay. Recipe for the paintbrush. Two sticks and a string. Don't have any string. That's okay because now we have string. Only three string, so it's not as much string as it takes to make a wool, um, but <clears throat> in the grand scheme of things, uh, I'm pretty happy just to have some string at the moment. So, where do those sticks go? Stick, stick, string, st paintbrush. I, I really did genuinely want to do carpet. But now we're going to have this kind of darkened cobblestone um, you know I'm, I'm okay with darkened cobblestone you know, I, I earned the dye I'm not going to waste all that dye on wool um, and it hasn't really got me too much of a bonus I wish I had cocoa beans I want to make a cookie cookies are totally distracting me though right now um, have a bit of a I guess I haven't really eaten enough yet, so I'm on the hungry side. I have to do another one. Oh, can't. I definitely prefer that look. Actually, I don't even mind the texture. It breaks up some of the texture of the, 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 the just the standard kind of wooden planks. Um, it's less than ideal, but sometimes you have to just go with less than ideal, because it's what you got. So the bowls go over here. Can make some mushroom soup up soon. <clears throat> what was I doing? Dark steel. Dark steel pickaxe, that's what it was. Wow. I just forgot how much that takes. That is ridiculous. Considering how well it cooks iron and things like that. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video and come back, and that should be ending the episode as I make my dark steel pick. Uh, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I realized part of why it was taking so long was because this thing here, its power reserve was sucking up half of the power that was producing. 
Um, so once I started putting all of the power into it, much quicker. So now we have the ability to make ourselves a dark steel pick. Now by itself, it's not really all that good until you get a vibrant crystal. Um, <clears throat> the vibrant crystal gives it effectively uh, two times efficiency. So that, that two times efficiency is really quite a bonus. Um, I need an anvil to make that. So I'm cooking up all of my iron. Still not convinced I'm going to have enough. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. And you then need to make a vibrant crystal. So the vibrant crystal, which is this one just here, is vibrant nugget. So vi vibrant alloy nuggets around an emerald. So I need to make a vibrant alloy, which is an energetic alloy and an ender pearl. So I need to go to the end before I can do any of that sort of stuff. But at least for now, <clears throat> I've got a pick. Um, it's a diamond equivalent pick. Which is pretty good. Um, so that's going to give me the opportunity to go mining. Um, yeah, I thought this was. Yeah, you know, I actually thought that was. Du I genuinely thought that was double um, an iron pick. Turns out it's not much better. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I definitely need to get myself. Why did I make two mana steel? Oh, yeah, mana steel plus that plus diamonds to make those mana pylons. So yeah, I need to find more diamonds. So that's what I'm going to do between now and next episode. Uh, I'm going to go find some more diamonds and hopefully... Yeah, I can't make myself a dark steel anvil yet. So I might actually wait until I can. Um, we need 27, 31. So I need, I need a lot more obsidian. Um, so that's going to be a job for... a job for future me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and you're looking forward to coming back. Um, off camera, I'm going to try and get myself a bit of a witchery house set up over there. I really want to make it out of spruce wood though. So, you know, maybe maybe next episode is going to be the search for spruce wood. We'll just have to see how I'm feeling. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. A Stocky out.